Welcome to Ditsy's Diamond Den. So we are going to be unboxing my Black Friday and Cyber Monday stuff. So I'm going to start off with my diamond painting canvases that I got from Diamond Art Club from their 30% off Black Friday sale and their Cyber Monday sale. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you some amazing things that I got and at the end of the video of me unboxing all of these amazing canvases, I am also going to show you the unboxings of the amazing Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale that some of our wonderful small shop owners did for us over the holidays. I got some great stuff and I do want to tell them thank you so much for the wonderful care that you put into everything that you make for us. We adore you. So. We are gonna start off um, with the smallest box, which is my Cyber Monday, and work our way down to the biggest box, which I actually had to have dear helper carry in because I couldn't lift it up. That's how big it is. All right, so here is the Cyber Monday one. I am just unboxing these to show you guys what I got. Um, but I will actually be doing full unboxing of these in the weeks to come, so stay tuned for that. So here is the Cyber Monday. Um, so I know the Cyber Monday I did get from the same artist, but I don't think I got any other from this particular artist and all the rest of my stuff. I honestly do not even remember everything that I got because some of it uh, Dear Helper picked out. And he did open all these boxes to check the contents, but he wouldn't let me peek at them. So here is the first one, and I got Summer Nights by Hannah Lynn. Um, this is a 49.6 centimeter by 65.5 centimeter um, square diamond painting. And here she is. Zoom in on her. And we got another Hannah Lynn, which I am so excited about, called Star Chasers, because I love unicorns. Not too much into mermaids, but I love unicorns, which we did talk about in our whip and chat last week. So this is a 45.1 by 62.7 square. Alright, so here we go into our Black Fridays. And so we talked about my last uh, whip and chat about how nervous my husband gets with me around knives. If you're watching this, you can probably kind of see why he's like, maybe you shouldn't touch those. So we've got how many in this box? You know, I no, think. I Slip. Don't see it in here. Huh. I'm missing a packing slip. So on this one, I got Immortal Flights by Ann Stokes. This is my first Ann Stokes. I'm so excited. Um, I've seen some of her stuff that I wanted to get, and honestly, I was too slow to check out in time to get them. So this is a 65 by 84 centimeter in square. And that is going to be so much color block blocking, but I am really excited to do my first Ann Stokes. If you have done any of her artwork, let me know what I should put on my wish list from her. Clumsy! <laughs> Blooper! Alright, next. Oh, oh, this one's heavy. I wonder how many is in this one. I saw some people like get these in one gigantic package, but mine came in four different packages. So I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe they ran out of big boxes by the time they got to mine. Maybe. Okay. More green. And have you guys ever not gotten a packing slip before? Because I keep my packing slips. So I'm a little bit 
curious about that. There's my packing slip in that one. So what is in this box? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So this is a round that I got and it is Unicorn Girl by Jeremiah Kettner. And she is so pretty. So I prefer squares, but I am definitely looking forward to this particular round. I do do rounds if I love the image enough. All right, and then, okay, don't hate me because I got the number one most desired diamond painting. So I did miss this um, on the Black Friday diamond night because my sizzle was like giving me issues. But I did manage to snag it the next morning during general release and on Thanksgiving. So I did have like my whole entire family here watching over my shoulder, like cheering me on. It was quite, well, ridiculous, but funny. And when this had sold out in my car, oh my goodness, you would have thought, I mean, like the world had ended. Everybody was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sad. So I did get the Under the Stairs um, by Yunli Art, which is from the Kiki Anime series in the 90s. So this is a square, which is a 70 by 96 um, centimeters. So I have only um, ever watched maybe one or two episodes because my daughter and son really liked this show. But when I was a young girl, we actually lived in this really big house that had a little crevice, like a Harry Potter bedroom underneath our stairs and I actually did put pillows and stuff in there and it was my re reading nook when I was growing up and I'm a really big reader so when I saw this this just brought back such happy childhood memories that I had to have it I'm so excited I got it and I cannot wait for it to be restocked for anybody that may have missed out on that I know that she was a really big seller so here we are here's the big box how many are in this? How many have I opened so far? Four? I've opened four. So five. Five? That's five. Did one fall down? <gasps> one fell down. And I think I got 13 in total. Okay. So, as you guys know, I just finished Aries. And so, uh, Dear Helper is a Libra, and they did have the Libra, which is the 55.8 by 55.8 by Eclair Studios in square. So I did go ahead and get this one to do for my husband. And this Saturday, they are actually releasing um, another one of hers. And... You know, I don't know anybody. I think the next one is, um, oh, I can't even remember which one the next one is, but it's dropping this Saturday. And this is the first set to where I think I'm just gonna buy them all because I want to buy them all. But at the same time, this one's for my husband. It's gonna go in his um, office. And then I made one for my son, which is gonna go at his house. Um, so I don't know, because I won't have like the whole collection to put on my wall unless I did them a second time, but I kind of want them all. More green. And what is this one? Oh, Goddess of Spring by Chrisabug. This is a 50.8 by 78.7 square. And this is one that actually Dear um, Helper picked out. So we're excited about getting that one done. So that is a Dear Helper one. Okay, and I did actually get one other um, Hannah Lynn. I did get the White Rabbit um, in square, and this is a 49.6 by uh, 70 centimeter. And I did get this one because I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do this one for Valentine's Day because, I don't know, it just makes me think of that. I mean, it's got bunnies and hearts and, you know, pink hair. and What's not to love about it? and oh okay this one i am so excited about 
Who else got Rainbow Punk? So this one is by Ashley Benson. Um, it is a 55.8 by 93.9. And look at that. So this kind of made me think of me when I was a kid because she's kind of tough and gothy, but at the same time all pastel and girly and like, you know, unicorn and teddy bears. And that's how I was when I was a kid. I had like this really tough like um, attitude, but I was also always very, I love unicorns. This one's heavy. This one's heavy. So this one is Andromeda. It is a 70 by 105. Oh my goodness. That's huge. And it is a square and it is by Rachel Anderson. And what I loved about this is I'm pretty sure that is the dragon's wings. Not her wings, but I couldn't tell. So I have to do her so I can figure out if that's her wings or the dragon wings. Very excited about this one. Running out of space here. Can anybody guess what my favorite one was? It's gonna be the last one I showed you. Let me know if you can guess what the last one I'm going to open is in the comments below. Cause I'm sure you guys have noticed a theme here. So this one is Memento Mori. It is a square by Ricky Sophia Rikimian. Rikimian? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. I also forgot to put on my glasses so I can't completely see what I'm looking at right now. Um, it's a 45.1 by 62.7 and I am so in love with her. These reds, because I really like working with the reds. I'm so excited about getting to the reds on her. She's just fantastically gorgeous. Oh, oh sad, guys. My box is getting empty. I want this to be like a Mary Poppins bag to where I just keep reaching in and I just keep pulling out diamond paintings. Okay. Oh, and this is the next one that uh, Dear Helper picked out. And it is the Spring Bringer by JoJo's Art. And this is a 93 by 70 centimeter. I'm not going to lie. Um, there was another one that I really wanted. Um, but he fell so in love with this that I dropped one of the ones I was going to get just to get him for this because he is so excited about getting this done. He still has a few to get through though. So if I get to this before he gets to this, I, this one's gonna be whoever gets to it first. Cause that one, oh my goodness, he was so excited. And here's my last one because thus, this is not a Mary Poppins bag. No, fair. And my last one, and it is Sparkle the Unicorn. And so with Sparkle the Unicorn, we are going to do what makes a sparkle. And this is by David Pittenfound. It is a 64 by 60 centimeter. This is like, somebody asked me in the comments the other day, like what my favorite kind of stuff was. And I was like, anime animals. And this is kind of what I was talking about with the big eyes and everything. And she was like, those are so hard to find. So here it is, anime unicorn. Her name is Sparkle the Unicorn. I'm going to do what makes me sparkle. And I am even wearing unicorn socks that actually say born to sparkle. So born to sparkle. So I've got the unicorns. I have got the sparkles. Everything is amazing today. Everything is, everything is sparkly today. I've got sparkle nails that I did and I got my sparkly holiday earrings. So stay tuned because next up we have all of the amazing Black Friday and small shop shopping that we did. Thank you so much for watching me open my Black Friday and Cyber Monday canvas hauls. Now I'm going to show you what I got from our wonderful small shop creators. Oh my goodness I'm a little out of breath because I'm not gonna lie 
I've been completely standing still all day, refreshing my phone, waiting for my small shop packages to arrive because that's how excited I am. And then I ran to the mailbox and ran back yelling, um, is the camera on because I'm ready to go. I've got some Bistro Blank pens in here. I did get these ones not from her Etsy shop, but from her Facebook page. She does a pin drop um, on Wednesdays, and she kind of has like a claim first or a pick me. And so not only are her pens like amazing, if you like chunky pens, her pens are on the chunkier side. Um, and they are a little bit on the heavier side. So you are aware her designs are just amazing and so you've got that going for her pens and then also just she makes buying the pens fun so fun okay so look at this amazing packaging and in this package i have a pen and i don't even know what it is because i would like to thank her so much for her Thanksgiving giveaway that was amazing and it was so much fun and so she sent me a surprise pen I have no clue what it is so you guys are gonna find out here with me okay oh I'm shaking oh I'm gonna have so much fun blowing up these bubbles going to annoy dear helper, going to anger my dogs. I do take them out into the garage when I blow them up, but yes, I'm absolutely addicted. So let's see what we got in here. I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm like, ha, ah, fun, fun, fun. Mm. Don't break those. I'm so excited. I'm like shaking. All right, so patience. Patience, Iago. First things first, she sent me some cover minders. It looks like I've got four of these. So let's take each of these out and take a look. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's like a little Christmas angel. Oh, that is too cute. I love these wings. If you look really close, you'll see she's got like little drills in her wings. How is that for a nice little add-on? Um, and she's got this cute little dress. The way her dress, oh look, she's got like a little protector. The way her dress is on it reminds me of those dolls, those plastic dolls where you would like and push on their outfits from the 80s. Showing my age here. Okay, so there's one. There is two, which is just a Hello Kitty head. That has got some glitter in it and an adorable little nose and a pink bow. And that is just too cute. Well, there she is. Let me put her on the palm because she is a little little. That way you can see her. And another Hello Kitty. Hmm. I wonder if I ordered a Hello Kitty pen. Okay. Oh my goodness. So she is in a little race car and she's got her teddy bear and I actually love Mario Kart. Um, and I also love those, oh, there was one that I absolutely loved where you got to be the cop car or the person trying to get away. Uh, one of the Need for Speed games. Yeah, the Need for Speed. Rivals. Rivals, yes. So that is too cute because that little cart is like all Mario Kart-ish. So that is just perfect for me. Let's hope my husband doesn't steal it because he also loves Mario Kart. And we have one here for all of the holidays because we've got a Thanksgiving or Christmas if you eat turkey. Gobble, gobble. So it looks like, look at the, those look almost hand painted. I don't know if you can see the feet. Let me get a little closer. Look at those feet. Those are just too cute. Okay. And we've got a thank you. Let's see if I can get this without ripping the sticker because I actually, I try to get these stickers off and I put them in my little sticker area 
So I try to actually reuse a lot of the stickers that we get from these small shop companies. Thank you. That is really pretty. Alicia, thank you so much. I hope you love your new pins and goodies and congrats on your prize pin. So funny. So I sent them a picture, my cousin's husband. He was trying to take a bite and he was sitting on my floor and he missed his mouth completely and it fell in between his legs and he was just like, my pie. It was a very humorous picture. Um, I will post it at the end of this video so you can see the picture that won the prize. So I did do two orders off of her. And I love these bags that she puts her pins in. These are so soft and so beautiful and perfect for if you like to travel with your diamond painting pins because these are fragile to help keep them safe. So there is my first Hello Kitty. Look at the detail inside of those. So those are like metallic pins that she puts inside and she builds the pin around them. I do have some diamonds here at the bottom, some drills, which really is fun. She does give me, looks like this is a six placer. I think this is a six placer um, in the back. And I really like these pins because I tend to shake and I notice with the heavier pins, it helps me not shake so much. So gorgeous. And now that I finally got my mail, I can diamond paint with these today. Here is the next one I got. So as you can see, we've got different sizes here. We've got different sizes here. So this is the Ladybug Gnome. And she's got some plants down here and the leaves. And she's got a little ladybug. You can see from the side. But this is actually stuff that she just gets and puts inside of her pins. How cool is that? I can't imagine how long it takes to make these. And then that adorable little ladybug. And look, he's got uh, ladybug gloves on his hands. I don't know if you can see that. That is too cute. And another ladybug up top. And there is a lot of glitter. It looks like I got a uh, nine. And then my regular. And... I love the back of this one. So I'm not actually into gnomes, but I do love ladybugs and I love the back of this one. And this one feels so good. Which one am I gonna use today? So here's the surprise. I don't know what this is. You don't know what this is. What are we getting? And we're gonna open it. Ooh, a black bag. Oh, what is this? I got two. Oh, okay. I'm so happy I actually have tears coming out of my eyes. How amazing is this? Look at that back. I think, I think that's real. Mm -hmm. That looks like real foliage. And look, See, if dear hubby can help me get this in really good. There's like a little flower in that. Do you see that? That is awesome. And then a little gnome with a turkey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. No idea what this is. None. She said, I want a pin. So what is in this? Because it feels like a pin. Oh my goodness. It's a mini pin. It's one of their minis. Oh, I've been wanting to try a mini and it comes with an angled and a two-placer and I don't actually even have a two-placer so that is so cool. I am really excited to try this because I've been wanting to try one of their minis. Um, look at the angled placer on that. That is really, really thin so you're going to have lots of visibility. And I do not have a two-placer, so I'm excited about trying that. And this color is phenomenal. Okay, 
Thank you so much, everybody from Bistro Blinks. I know that you guys work really, really hard on your pens and I could not be more happy than I am today. You've completely made my day. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is my last small shop for this particular episode. Um, we are coming up on 2024 and I have already put a ton of stuff on my wish list from all different kinds of shops um, to show my support to the small shops. They are such a huge part of the diamond painting community and I cannot tell them how much appreciation I have for their thought and time and artistic talent that goes into making these amazing products for all of us diamond painters. So thank you for that and I look forward to continuing to support you in every way that I can. So um, I did find some more Care Bears. Now I'm only not, I'm not only Care Bears I will be purchasing from some other um, places and different kinds of release papers. I am just struggling with this. Why are these things always smarter than me? Oh, I'm just gonna... <clears throat> I win. Um, where was I? Oh, so I do plan on getting different release papers, of course, from different other companies and different kinds. I will say, though, that I am absolutely in love with Reese B's Crafty Corner. They're so transparent whenever they do have issues. She's always talking to her community about what we might want to see in the future. So she's just, she is a joy to work with. I've talked to her a little bit through the Etsy. I am part of her Facebook page and I, I like her. Um, so we've got to thank you for your purchase and save 10% off. And thank you for another order, Alicia. Happy holidays, Sabrina. So Sabrina, you are amazing, girl. I love how much you are, you know, a part of the community and you talk to us and you care so much um, about making everybody as happy as you can. So thank you. Oh, look at the cute little sticker. I'm gonna have to try to peel that off and save it. So here's more Christmas. So we've got some Christmas Care Bears. I did order these in a little bit of a I did order these in a little bit of a smaller size. Um, so they are lights and they're in little ornament balls. And we've got uh, quite a few. We've got Wish Bear over here, Grumpy Bear, Cheer Bear, and Friend Bear. Um, so I am just loving these. As you can see, these are all so uniform. I think out of the last pack that I got, and these are a lot. I think there was only two that was microscopically off on the cut. And I am talking microscopic. It was a little bitty. Um, these feel so amazing. And these last. These last a really long time. Yep. So I have used my other Care Bear ones so far on four different canvases. And we're talking big canvases. I don't generally do smaller paintings. And they are still going strong. They are beast-like. I actually, so I rolled one up and one bent like all the way back, like all the way back. Um, and like a dog ear, like you would do in a book. I threw a heavy book on it and it completely straightened out and I'm actually still using it. You can see a little bit of a crease, but it's actually still laying flat. So, even though sometimes the release papers can be a little bit expensive considering they are paper, they are definitely worth the cost because these are not faint of heart. They will last, I don't even know how long. I'll let you know when I finally have to throw one out because I've destroyed it, but so far I've been really rough on these guys and they're like brand new still. So I will keep you updated. Thank you so much for bringing Sabrina for doing the Care Bear Christmas ones. I cannot wait to see what you having have coming out. Um, I know you said you were putting out a whole bunch of new designs um, for the new year, and I will definitely be purchasing some of those new designs. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.